Put me back in the pool. I'm ready to keep fighting. Let's play the game of chess. If you're unfamiliar with how it works, I would be very surprised. But actually, at this point, maybe I'm not. I was making a little bit of a joke, but maybe at this point, there's risk players that don't know chess. Because on this channel, I've been doing a lot of chess. I've been doing a lot of risk. I'm kind of balancing it out. It is possible that there's a lot of people here that don't, don't know chess. And if so, let me know in the comments below. It would actually be cool if I get risk people into chess. I'm trying to get chess people into risk, but, you know, sometimes things flip-flop. And this is a crazy way that you can play against the French defense, where I'm actually playing an Orthoschnapp Gambit, but I've thrown this check in to try to get this bishop to come to d7. Whoa, I've never seen that move before. So it's, I mean, must be horrible. But can I figure out why? What the heck is that move? My, oh my, oh my. <laughs> what a move. I go here. I defend this guy so I can push, and I defend... I mean, my jeepa, I don't care about castling. I have too many threats. I go here, and now it's my turn to do what I want to do. You stop one, I go the other way. You go here, I go that way. You go there. I, I say, hold up, wait a minute. And then I probably play d4, but I don't know how it works. It, there's a pin. There's a pin. D4 felt so right. I don't, but you cannot take on passant. You've taken on passant. And it's, it's that easy. It's just that easy. Wow, okay, this was actually a crazy line. So there's a bunch of traps here, and I've made videos on this in the past, which I'll link to in the comments. But um, after takes, you play bishop to c4. And the main point of this check is exactly what happened in the game. We're trying to get an improved orthoschnapp gambit, which would be this, and you get to this position. And if you got to this position, and you said you could have this bishop on d7 or on c8, I think we would all agree, you'd want this bishop on d7, kind of blocking up the joint, unprotecting this pawn. So that was the main point uh, of my opening play. But then queen all the way out to g5. That was a bit of a shock to me. Uh, and again, there's a million traps that I won't dive too deep into in this one. Uh, I'll leave them to be looked up. 92 or queen takes b7. How does this one work? Because if I take now, he takes here. I take his rook. He takes my rook. I get this knight. That's huge. He has to bong cloud. But now I need, I, my problem is that my knight is defended, but it's not an issue. You, I mean, your king can start running away. You can, you have this move as a resource. <laughs> and then you play d4 they let you let them take you play d4 you play knight c3 you just keep going okay this is some alternative but i actually like the way that i did it in the game knight e2 allowing black to go in for this complicated stuff that's probably not good and maintaining my dual threats of taking on f7 and taking on b7 and after this recapture black is busted now i will admit that I did not see bishop to c5 coming. But fortunately, I have d4, which just wins. Um, because as in the game, there was a bit of a pin. I guess on passant is sometimes not good. Who would have known? Please subscribe.